Hi, welcome to this short demo of Chameleon Mode. It's Simon Dadia here, CEO and founder. Now let's jump straight in. This is the dashboard. It's where all your favorite profiles and projects are always easily accessible from. Now, there are no profiles selected yet. This is what you'll see as soon as you open up the app. But once you start adding your profiles and folders, this is where they'll be populated and easily accessible for you. All your current projects, websites, clients, whatever it is that you're currently working on that you want quick and easy access to. Now, this is the main profile section. This is where everything happens from managing your profiles, your folders, to your dashboard favorites, and then running automations, managing multiple profiles across browsers with ease, and then changing all of your proxies single, one by one, or on a folder by folder basis. It's where all of your profiles and folders live. Now let's start at the top. This is the search bar. And if you just get confused and have forgotten where your profile might be, but remember the name of it, you've got so many folders, so many profiles, all you need to do is start typing in the name of the profile and it'll bring you to the folder and you'll be straight in there. You'll know exactly where everything is very, very quickly by using the search facility. Now, while we're on the search facility, each folder here also has a unique search that relates only to the folder. So over here, you've got 45 profiles. Some profiles might have hundreds and you just want to search very quickly within the profile. This will help you do that. Now, creating a profile, that's up here on the top right. When you click new profile and you create a new profile, you add a proxy, port, username and password. It's always synced with the geolocation and the time zone of that proxy. The cookies, the cache, the history, they're all saved in a separate, unique environment. And we also automatically create a unique identity for every possible browser tracker, like Canvas fingerprinting, client rect, WebGL, WebRTC, and everything else, to make sure that you're always seen to be on a different computer in a different location. Now, if you want to access multiple browsers and profiles at the same time while staying in control of each instance, you want to use chameleon mode. Now, chameleon mode is when you click on the three buttons, decide which profiles you want to work with. Now, we have these three profiles already open, but if you go ahead and click them, and then you have this button here called chameleon, you open that up, and now you have access to the browsers that are currently open on your system. So we've got Chrome here, and we've got this profile. So when you click on it, it will open up. Then we've got another instance here, and then we've got another one over here. And you're always on top of each, each instance, no matter where you are, even if you're just clicking on the browser, you can you get confused. You're not sure which browser instance you're in. Just have a quick look at the chameleon mode pop-up, and it will show you everything. This is also the open so that you have easy access to your usernames, password information, everything related to each profile so that you're right there. Every time you need a username, a password to log in for any reason, whatever it might be, everything is there easily accessible to you using the pop-up no matter how many browser instances you have open, whether it's Firefox, Brave or Chrome, you'll always have quick, easy access to them using chameleon mode. Now that's a pretty, uh, pretty awesome productivity hack, right? Now let's move on to the next one, which is the automation. Now automation, let me just close these browsers down. Now the automation here, very simple and straightforward. Whatever the automation you want to run, you go ahead and click it, decide which profiles you want to run them in, and then click run. There is also a recording script option here so that you could record and run your own scripts within chameleon mode and we currently support Brave and Chrome for the automations. We are also going to have an automation club that's going to be coming out after launch, and that's only gonna be accessible to the top tier subscription models. But for launch, everyone will get access to it as it's still in beta, and it will be ready in the coming weeks just after launch. So currently, as you can see, we've got a couple of scripts in there. We've got a Google click-through rate, CTR, keep Gmail Live, URL Explorer, which is great for dropping cookies, new accounts, warming up accounts, add in as many URLs as you want. It'll go ahead and um, run through them. And the Google Site Creator. We've also got a Google Stacker tool that is currently being developed. And this will all be implemented fully within the next coming weeks after launch. Now, in the next section, we're going to get a little bit more boring. This is the general section here. 
but it's also very important because this is where all of your default anonymity settings are. You can play with them. You can decide how much you want to be unique, how less you want to be unique. Everyone's got their own preferences. Sometimes you don't want to have such a unique canvas fingerprint. Sometimes you do. It's entirely up to you and the customizations are here for you to decide for yourself. Okay, these are your default home pages. You could add however many you want here and when you launch a browser, it will always randomly pick one of those home pages to launch to. The next section over here is where you add your API for your phone verification. Should you ever need to do a phone verification, create an account, whatever it might be. Currently support codes verify, SMS pool and SMS PVA. This here is where you manage all of your proxies. You can either select all the proxies on the page or select all the proxies within the folder and it'll go ahead and change all 49 proxies within that folder. You can use the system that we have built in, your own system, it's entirely up to you. Completely customizable, you can change one by one. You can also decide which folder you want to use from here. And you can also decide if you want to change all the profiles, all the proxies across all the profiles. The next one here is where you can up, where you can purchase credit. We have our own residential proxy system here. If you have your own system, you can just add your own. If you don't, this one works great. And you can be up and running very, very quickly with them. If you have your own again, use your own proxy systems. And then this is where you add, invite users for your VAs, your outsourcers. It's where you share the projects, you get the credentials, copy license information, delete users, then decide if they can create profiles or if they can't create profiles. You manage access so they can have access to whatever it is you want them to have access to. Do you want them to see the proxies? Do you not want them to see the passwords? Entirely up to you. Okay, now that is the main general usable settings. The next settings are it's just a little bit of fun here. So obviously if you want to log in and log out, you've got a different account you want to access, that's great. If you have system custom system colors, this will then follow those system colors for you. If you want a dark mode, if you're into dark mode, well, we've got that covered as well. And if you want to get really funky and change, change all of the the colors all together and have your own custom custom colors so you can you can do that as well so it's entirely up to you you can customize the look the feel and exactly how you use chameleon let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below would love to hear from you